distinguished guests, participants to the seminar workshop on automated government service management system for DA regulatory agencies, fellow workers in government, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. First of all, I wish to convey my appreciation to Secretary William Dar of the Department of Agriculture for the invitation to deliver a message in today's seminar workshop. As public servants, we truly recognize the importance of this endeavor as it focuses on the improvement of ease of doing business. Through this workshop, our regulatory officers will be more capacitated in the use of information and communications technology to achieve e-governance, digitalization of services, and streamlined processes in government. Significantly, we will be able to upgrade our abilities to facilitate prompt actions and resolution of all government transactions with efficiency. Within the Bureau of Customs, we have endeavored to build a foundation and framework for a world-class customs administration as defined by our vision. We have taken the steps and implemented programs for systems automation and capacity building, which in turn have helped us achieve our targets and expand our capabilities. Notably, prioritizing automation of our services has paved the way for milestones that emphasize the importance of modernization and information technology. Among these include the recent UN Global Survey, which spotlighted the Philippines' success in implementing trade facilitation measures, and the World Bank Doing Business Report and Trading Across Borders Report, showing substantial improvement in our rankings, respectively. On a broader scale, automation has strengthened interagency cooperation, enabling government agencies to work more closely and produce better results. In the implementation of the Food Security Act, Imported food products undergo cargo inspection and clearance procedures by the Department of Agriculture and the Department of Health at the first port of entry to determine compliance with national regulations. Under the first border inspection protocol, the Bureau of Customs personnel assist in the joint inspection of agricultural products in river containers upon arrival at the ports. The power of information and communication technology has also driven the implementation of the National Single Window, a computerized internet-based system that allows parties involved in trade to lodge information and documents with a single entry point to fulfill all import, export, and transit-related regulatory requirements. These joint efforts are but a few concrete manifestations of how stronger and more proactive interagency cooperation is now because of the exchange of information between trade regulatory agencies. Today's seminar workshop is therefore most timely and opportune as we work together towards strengthening capacities in e-governance with the end goal of providing the services that will pave the way for better opportunities for our countrymen. We therefore encourage all the participants to listen well and engage the facilitators during this activity. And we congratulate the organizers for putting together this learning opportunity for all the participants and the units they represent. Once again, maraming salamat po at mabuhay tayong lahat.